Hello travels out there. Today in this video I'm going to be telling you guys out there about what I've got to on my Saturday and Sunday. I hope you guys are having a great weekend and you've all had a lovely Sunday. On my Saturday I got up early and had a nice massive shower, had some toast and a cup of tea and got my uniform on and got ready for work and my dad got me off to work. I put my jacket on the backboard and jacket the tapes go, then got cracking with the work shift ahead and was cleaning the menus, put those away, clean the cutlery and put that away and was putting the cups and glasses away, a bit of glasses in the glass washer and then put those away once they were finished. And then I was just serving food and drink. I was told that all the food was going to table one of the tables but it wasn't. One of them was going to another table, so that was a bit of a palaver, but we got that sorted out, so it was fine. And that was my one little hiccup. But it's fine, we all make mistakes. As Simon Tyler said, everyone has these days, everyone makes mistakes, everyone has these days. Blah blah blah, you get the gist. Love of Hal Montana. And yeah, everyone makes mistakes. And it was fine, I sorted it, I was under control, and I didn't panic. And yeah, I had a really good day. And then it was quite quiet in the morning and then it picked up a bit and I saw my hairdresser, my doctor and my best mate and his family. So yeah, it was really good and then it was the end of my shift and I got picked up and got back and got changed into my comfy clothes. I had a sandwich and a cup of tea and was just watching a bit of Lord of the Wings. So my dad put on the rugby, so I didn't want up the end of just watching a bit of TV out there. Just a drawing with a bit of my journal and a bit of music, created by my music doll. Just some arts and crafts and a bit of colouring, find out so very few so it's just doing a bit of colouring in. And then I watched the newest episode of The Voice and Cash Tree and watched a bit of stuff. And I ended up falling asleep. Then we had tea, we had fish and chips, and I had chicken and chips, and it was delicious. I then finished up my journal and watched The Voice and Cash Tree and the newest episode of The Best Buster. I was about to watch them and I ended up falling asleep doing that and then we watched them. Then I finished up my journal, put that away, and I ended up going to bed. And my younger brother had gone up with his mates in town, and one of his mates stayed over. Then on my Sunday, I got up and got ready for the day ahead, and I found out about Colin Flack, West in Peace, so sad gutted about that news and then went on to my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, just a bit of music, watched a bit of TV as I was up super early so I didn't have to be until later and then my dad was feeling a bit one down so he went to bed. My younger brother's mate went off to play football and I got dropped up by my mum to morning to not morning group to work. Keep on thinking it's Friday today. It's Sunday then, not morning group until Friday. It's been a year since I started one group yesterday. I can't believe I've been going up for a year now. Absolutely loving it. I'm on group. So yeah, she got me to work, not one group, work. And I put my jacket away, said hello to all my colleagues that I was work with. And it was such a great day. I didn't make any mistakes. I didn't drop anything, spell anything or anything like that. I was so freaked up. And I said, I'm like man percent. I was doing super duper well. I was just having such a blast. Love it, the colleagues are great. And then my mum, my dad, no, my mum, my older sister, her boyfriend, and my older brother came in to have work. So they dined while I was working to see me in action. And they said, Oh, I was very good, it was very sweet of them. And my dad was going to be coming because he was feeling good one down, so he didn't in the end. And when he got up, he was feeling a lot better. And my mum and older brother and sister and her boyfriend got back. And he was like, I would have come if you'd asked. But yeah, he's doing a lot better, which is good. And I was just loving it, talking to all the customers, seeing all the dogs, seeing all the babies, and yeah, they are just all lovely. It was a bit busy with all the farms and all the dogs everywhere and stuff as normal, but it's like the hub of my town, so it's really good to see everyone, and I just absolutely love it, and I'm always seeing people I know. And then I was done for the day. I served some food, and they said it came twice, so I had to go to the kitchen and eat. So they didn't, but they're like just giving them some ice so that it's just no drama. And so I gave them the ice, and then I was done for the day. And then I got my coat and got picked up by my dad and got back, got changed, and I've got a spot. Luckily, you can't really see it, but it's in the T zone. And I was just like, for goodness sake, 
thought I was going to be growing out of getting spots. I barely get them now, but when I do, they're always in the most awkward of places, which I slim and hate. And I was just relaxing, sat on the sofa, just not wanted to move. And I'm now not until Thursday, so I put my clothes in the wash, my work clothes in the wash. And my younger brother's girlfriend is over for tonight. She stays on Sundays and Monday nights. I'm having a waste of tea, and I can't wait for that. My older sister, her boyfriend, and their cat Loki are going to be coming over for tea. My half, my dog, is going to love that. Tell one of the cat. Hopefully they'll get on well soon, but the cat, the cat Loki is a Bengal cat, so he loves water, but he's a bit like a tiger, and he just likes to play and stuff. And my half is, the people calling him my half, half, our dog, is 12 now, and he's a bit of an odd soul, and so he's just like, leave me be. And so he's just always shaking. And also, for some reason, he's terrified of my older sister. So he's now terrified of my older sister and her crazy cat. So he spends quite a lot of time shaking and calling by my dad. As he's very mad dog, he's very attached to my dad. And I can't wait for Got Two tonight. It's Frankenstein's episode. I love Frankenstein. I love them Frankenstein with Jim Wood and who is the original Willy Wonka from China and Spot Factory. God, that was a mouthful. Love that film. Love the world that may rest in peace, and I just can't wait for that. And also, the new dancing on ice not that, yeah, that's a nice episode. Holly and Phil are great presenters, and I just love it. Such a great show, and I can't wait for this chicken cut to Spanish. No, what am I having for tea? Roast dinner, Jesus, Dan, you are super tired because you can't remember. Roast dinner, I can't wait for this roast dinner, not Spanish chicken or chicken curry. Although these two meals are probably my favourite meals. Spanish chicken, chicken curry and spaghetti. Like my chicken and pasta things, I'm always liking those. So yeah, I'm going to waste dinner, I can't wait. Waste dinner with water drinks, what my dad said. And I wrote a bit of my journal and had a sandwich and a cup of tea for my late lunch. And I had peanut butter sandwiches and I've been really craving them for ages. Didn't think we had any, any peanut butter, but we do, so I had some of those. And then tied up my office up, tied up my dollhouse up, and sorted it out, played in my room, just that door a bit, and just listened to a bit of music, and went onto my Facebook to Instagram, and was just chatting to my mates on Facebook, and my best mate came over yesterday night as he was a bit short of pocket, I needed food because he's basically spending for himself, unfortunately, uh, his, so he's had to a bit of money for me but I'm staying on Monday and he's going to be paying me back then if not I'll get my siblings on him the mafia but my friends always say they're the mafia because they are quite big they're my bodyguards if I don't back me I always get them I'm only kidding I can look after myself and yeah I trust him and my mum's like are you sure because if he doesn't give you it back what are you going to do I was like well if not I won't lend him any more money in the future, but I trust him and I'm seeing him again off to the pub on Monday night, which was good, and he's going to be paying me back, and I was going to buy the drinks as well, because I'm always buying the drinks, so yeah, he's, I don't forget he gets paid yet, so that's why he's probably off, probably, or he might have spent it on a game, or gone and spent it on his girlfriend, but I don't care, my mum was like, you shouldn't ask what, what, he's, what he needs the money for, but I was like, well, I, I want to I know, because he could be driving, God knows what, but, who knows? And yeah, I, you know, the money had a bit of a chip out of him and then he went off and I watched Toy Story and a bit of Enchanted and some other films stuff that as I was just trying to find out what to watch. And I am going to be sorting my food at Dogs Up tomorrow after going up to get my wages from work. I got back from work and just as I got back from work, my manager let me know that the wages had been done. So I thought, you could have told me that you were, you could have told me and I was just waited and then got my wages so I have to go back uh, tomorrow. Hopefully the weather won't be too bad tomorrow. It's stormed out at the moment and it was pretty crazy this morning. Very windy, very windy, very dreamy and very dark and I just wanted to go in my bed and sleep until this crazy weather is over. Last week it was storm circuit or CL or whatever, whatever it's called. Very great names these storms have, and then it's storm this, this weekend. So let's see what storm we have next weekend. Why are all the storms while I'm working? Hopefully, 
the weather will be a lot better tomorrow and it won't be too bad. And on Tuesday, me and my older sister and maybe my older brother are going to be going to Kafakoon because Tuesday is supposed to be the nicest, sunniest day. A bit rainy in the morning, but one twelve ish onwards it's going to be nice. So we're going to go get some nice nature stuff of Kafakoon where they first started and Warhol's because it's a lovely little village. And I can't wait to get places that I've been wanting to be there for a long time because I always stay in the city of the country and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm looking forward to going there on the Tuesday and on the Wednesday it's my mum's first cat swap so I'm a little bit anxious about that. So the next time you will see me will be on Wednesday's vlog. So I'll probably be talking about Castle Queen and about my mum's art. And yeah, I hope you guys have all had a lovely weekend. Well, have a lovely rest of your Sunday and a lovely week ahead. And I shall see you soon. Really good. Come very soon.